So let me tell you a little secret. We at InVideo are huge fans of the popular Netflix show called Dark. So when we were messing around with ideas for this week's episode of Experiments with InVideo, we thought why not create an epic motion poster video for the Netflix show Dark. And we're gonna be showing you step by step how we created this video. But before we go any further, have a look at what we came up with. I think it came out pretty sharp. Let us know down in the comments what you think and let's get into today's tutorial. So first things first, let's talk some theory and how we actually visualized this motion poster. For any of you that have seen the trailer or even watched the show yourselves, you know that it's a nerve chilling sci-fi drama and that's the type of feel that we wanted to recreate with this motion poster. So we chose this dark glitchy background to give it that look and feel and since the program revolves around kids that go missing, we wanted to to make this the main centerpiece of the video and add some color contrast using this main character. Now let's have a look at how to actually create it from scratch. The first thing you're going to have to do if you haven't already is sign up for an InVideo account. I will leave a link in the description for you to use. We do of course have a link to the ready to use template for this motion poster, but for the purpose of the tutorial, we're going to be starting with a horizontal blank canvas. So just choose this and then the InVideo editor will load. Delete any text and logo placeholders from your canvas so we're starting with a completely blank canvas. We're going to start by adding our background. So we've got this image of a forest, which once again keeps that eerie sort of theme. But you can, of course, use any of the stock images that come with InVideo. Once you've chosen your background, just drag this onto your canvas. Next up, we're going to add our centerpiece, which is going to be our main character. So we've got this image of the back of the main character wearing his yellow rain mac. And all we've done is remove the background using InVideo's Remove Background tool. Next up, we're going to add a filter to the background image so we've chosen the black and white filter once again just to give it that creepy sort of feel just to make the background image even darker we have added a square shape and we've just set this to the color black and the opacity to 40 just to give it a little bit of a darker feel you can also add some gradient layers to the left and right areas of the canvas just to give it that mysterious effect next up we've added the name of the show to the center of the canvas we have added some spacing between the letters and of course chosen the appropriate font font size and font color next up we're going to add an eerie overlay so we've chosen this fuzzy style overlay and we've just set the opacity to 35 percent this is just to make sure that it doesn't overpower all of the other elements on the canvas we've added the zoom animation to the image of the character and this is just to give it the illusion that the character is moving we've also added the disquire animation to the center text just to give it that creepy glitch effect. Now you can copy and paste the center text and we've just changed that text to past and we've aligned it with the first letter of our center text. And once again, we have just changed the color and the font and the size of the font. Once again, add some animation to this font. Don't be afraid to get creative and try something new. You can then repeat this process for the present and future text of the video. You'll of course want to add some music to your video. We've chosen this dark thrill ambience track, which perfectly fits the mood. Now you can simply duplicate this scene to create your second scene. We've deleted everything think from the second scene except for the center text the background and the overlay all we've then done is just change that center text to Netflix and once again change the font and colors appropriately feel free to add some finishing touches so we've added the streaming on caption just to give it that authentic feel last but not least preview your video and then just hit export to start sharing if you have enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and let us know down in the comments what movie or series you want us to cover next and we promise we'll cover that in the next episode. And if you want to see some other InVideo experience, make sure to check out these other episodes. This is Elliot with InVideo and I'll see you in the next one.